In the last video, we have been talking about uh, gates, and we have been introducing several gates, like the AND gate or the OR gate, and then we went on with other type of gates. But um, the main one are actually those two gates, so the AND gate and the OR gate. I'm gonna write quickly write um, a schematic here. Uh, well, and I'm just not gonna draw them again. Just you know. So the AND gate and the OR gate, okay? So those two are the most important ones. And we basically wrote them in terms of the truth table. So we A and B as the input and C as the output. We said that with the AND gate, we have to have both inputs as one in order to have one as the output. So if we had zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, um, this one will be zero, 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 and one, because both of them have to be one. But, well, looking at them in terms of, uh, you know, the gate itself and the truth table like this is fine, but we can also say one more thing. We can look um, about that. Uh, we can look at this and think about um, the AND gate as an operator, a binary operator. So we can say that A times B is equal to C in binary. And you can easily check this because we, you, you can say, okay, uh, zero times zero is zero. Zero times one is zero. One times zero is zero. And one times one is one. Whoa, look at that. It's indeed this. It's just this. Zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. It's, it's just an operation. The end um, gate, it just, you know, we can think about this as uh, multiplication in binary it's just like this and we can do something similar with the OR gate so with the OR gate instead we wrote our truth table which was like this oh shoot yeah should I can I get the line straight I guess not uh, so with the input zero 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 one one zero and one one um, we basically wanted the output to be um with and to be one with at least when at least one of them is one so zero zero none of them is um one then is zero zero one this one is one so is one one zero this one is one so is one 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 both of them are one so the output is indeed one okay and this is pretty much it, because if we say, okay, we can look at this truth table and, and or the or gate as an operation um, as an operation as well. So we can say that A plus B is equal to C. So this plus here is the or gate. And we can easily check this. Zero plus zero is indeed zero. 0 plus 1 is indeed 1, 1 plus 0 is indeed 1, and 1 plus 1, well, it's not going to be a 2 because we are in binary, so it will be 1, okay? Well, we'll actually have another, um, another, it's not like properly the great, greatest explanation ever, but just we're just going to stick with this and say that it was 1. So yeah, it's uh, pretty much verified uh, to be fair. And with those things, and lo by looking at those things here, um, we can introduce two uh, things that are very important and are the D. Morgan law. So let me just use a different color. D. Morgan law. So 
what are the De Morgan's law? Well, there are two laws. Um, well, the first one basically says that a NAND port to which the inputs um, we in which the inputs we have as an input uh, two um, values, one called x and one called y, uh, then it's going to be equal to an OR gate uh, with the same in, in inverse input x and y. Um, let me just write it down so that it makes more sense. So first law. First law. So a NAND port, well, gate, let me just call it gate. It's the proper term, it's not a port, it's, it's a gate. Um, with input x and y is like and or gate with x not and y not okay so if we think about and as this multiplication here and or as a gate as this addition here we can say that an AND gate with those inputs is like an OR gate with those, uh, you know, negated like inverse. So we can say that X times Y all negated, so all inverse, is like X naught plus Y naught. And this is the first De Morgan law. So we can think um, at the schematic level um, about this with x and y as the inputs and this one as the negated output which we call I don't know z um, to be equal to this circuit here with the same input x this is a negation and then we have uh, this or gate here with the output z and the same thing goes for here we have a not for y as well and this x and y and we have z so this gate here is essentially the same as this one here now then we have the second law the second law second de morgan's law um which basically says that a well a nor gate um, with input x and y is like a an AND gate with not X and not Y. So uh, what this basically says is that if we have this, we can, it's exactly like saying this times this. And at a schematic level, 
uh, well, we would have that this, um, this gate here, which is an R gate for the output to Z and two input X and Y is the same as X with this not here, whoops, and this one which is an end gate like this. And here with a Y, with a Y input. So those two are equal and those two are equal. Now the Morgan's law are very, very, very useful. And we're gonna look at them with some exercises in the next video.